Hey guys, so welcome back. We just got back from Costco. I wanted to show you guys what we picked up for our current grocery haul. Got some pretty good stuff here. Lots of things, mostly meat, some other little stuff as well. There was a bunch of new stuff there this week. So we picked up some different things to show you guys. Hopefully it inspires you for some different options that you guys can include in your diet. Before we get into it, one very exciting announcement and that is we are launching a new free community for everyone to join. We are gonna be hosting a free April challenge for people doing keto and carnivore on their weight loss journey. We will have lots of resources, live workshops during the month of April. It starts on April 1st. So make sure you register for our free community so you can participate in our free April challenge. Make sure you check the description box for the registration link. So the first item we picked up were the sliced beef chuck rolls. So these are basically really thin slices of beef. They're meant for hot pot, but you can really pretty much use them for like stir fries, anything like that. It was a pretty good deal for a pound of this. So yeah, super convenient that you can throw into stir fry or just do a quick hot pot any time of the week. This was a new find for us. We haven't seen hot pot meat at Costco before. So, and that was a good deal. Yeah, really good deal. $16.99 for that box. How much? Ch cheaper than buying a chuck roast by the pound. Yeah. It's like whole. Fatty too. <laughs> yeah, so it's awesome. And then these beef ribs were on sale, so we picked up a pack. These are something that we make quite often because they're just super delicious. And uh, yeah, we'll save these for another day as well. We have multiple recipes on our channel for those beef ribs yeah. that Fish. we will link on the screen here for you to check out. Kevin's specialty. Mm. Um, and we picked up some smoked Black Forest ham. So we'll probably eat this with eggs. Uh, similar to that is we also picked up some prosciutto. So these, both these have minimal ingredients. So definitely when you're looking for deli meat, make sure you're avoiding ones with added sugar or weird sounding chemicals in it. Uh, another staple for us are eggs. We picked up two dozen organic Kirkland eggs. Something that we typically eat for lunch, if you've seen our videos before, quite often are just these frozen beef patties. So these cook really quickly in the air fryer or just in a pan and um, super convenient. They're 8515 ground sirloin, so good option, good quick option. Oh yeah, this is new for us too. So look out for recipe for this one. It's uh, also buco, so it's uh, beef shank and typically slow cook it, but we will test this out and let you guys know how it goes. Um, and then, Kerrygold cheddar was on sale. So we love this this cheese, it tastes so good. And uh, so we all picked up a pack of this as well. And we'll eat this with pretty much any time. <laughs> this is another awesome find at Costco. It is smoked wild sockeye salmon. So it comes pre-frozen, well, it comes frozen. And you thaw it and you pull it up to strips and just eat it. Great protein source, really clean wild sockeye salmon. Um, we love eating this with our eggs. We love just snacking on this throughout the day if we're hungry. It's just a really clean, good protein source to have in your diet. And related to that is some more frozen salmon. Uh, as you probably see a theme here, but we just like to rely on frozen fish because it's super easy to make in the air fryer. So these take about 17 to 20 minutes in the air fryer, 400. Um, yeah, an awesome way to include more fish in your diet for those omega-3s. And this is some wild coho salmon that we get from Costco in the bulk bag. And they come in individual fillets. <laughs> the last item of, well, not second to last item of fish we got is a filet of trout. I accidentally so. poked a hole in the, in the wrapping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is a really good deal at, at uh, Costco as well. A nice big filet. So this is a quick, easy dinner for any time throughout the week. It takes about 20 minutes in the oven. Yeah, it just has a more neutral flavor than salmon. Some yeah. people, not everyone likes salmon, but um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, but still want those so omega threes, trout is a good option. Yeah. And then we also went to a smaller grocery store to pick, oh, there's a couple more things from Costco, but we went to a smaller grocery store and got the good old sardines. Y'all know that I love my sardines. So this is the King Oscar brand. These are the Brizzling sardines. I love these. This is probably the highest quality brand of sardines that you can find or that I like. We have Wild Planet, but sometimes it gets really expensive. So I have to wait till they go on sale, but these ones were on sale. So I, I usually just buy whatever's on sale. Um, but for this week, it was the King Oscars. And these ones come in like really small little fillets and they're really high quality. And I also got some of the Brunswick ones in spring water. These are kind of just uh, your everyday economical, not as tasty as the King Oscars, but when you eat so many of them, gotta have a, gotta have a variety, I guess. All right, we also picked up some berries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries. I guess because it's March now, um, 
it's starting to pick, like it's starting to get warmer. So there's more berries at the grocery store now. So that's always good. Berries are a good option. They're low sugar fruit, so. Low sugar fruit, yeah. It's kind of like a treat for us, I would say. Uh, speaking of treat, we did get some of these no sugar meta bars. These are definitely a treat, like kind of like a dessert. Try not to eat these too often, but hey, every now and then we like to enjoy ourselves. Yeah. They're pretty high protein too. Uh, I also got a pack of mushrooms because I will be cooking the osobuco with these mushrooms. These turkey breakfast sausages are from Costco. These are really good and they're pretty clean. There's a little bit of seasoning on them, but they're not the worst in the world. Uh, ideally, for those of you guys who live in the States, I recommend Teton sausages and Amy Lou chicken sausages. Those are the two best cleanest sausages, but unfortunately they don't have them here. This is all that we have and that we can get access to, which makes me a little bit sad. And if we do want to get Teton sausages and Amy Lou sausages, we have to drive down. It's like a two hour trip just to get them. So we have gotten them in the past, but it's not something that we can do all the time. So some, it's just one of those things where you just, you just get what you can get, right? But these sausages are really, really good. Pretty tasty. And they're pretty much cooked already. Yeah, they're fully cooked. Yeah, they're fully cooked. And if you put them in the air fryer, they're ready in eight to 10 minutes. I'm trying to see if there's a brand name for those of you guys who are Canadian. Ready Cuisine. Ready Cuisine, that's the brand? Yeah, Ready Cuisine. For those of you guys who are Canadian, look up this one. Uh, your Costco may have it. I've never seen it anywhere else before other than Costco. Got a small pack of avocados. Love me my avocados. And I also got a small pack of salad mix at Costco. So usually when I buy these, I don't eat, I don't really eat the dressing. I usually use Chosen Foods or Primal Kitchen dressing and I toss the dressing away. But I don't know, just wanted something different. Something with some crunch. I'm a little bit more keto these days. I think there's some tortilla strips in here that I'm just not gonna eat. Toss those out, but um, good for convenience. Yes, good for convenience because we are pretty busy these days. That's a fast lunch. Everything here is pretty convenient, quick and easy, and fast. Except the for also, the, so yeah. <laughs> this one, the also buco, will take probably two to three hours to cook in the oven, um, or however we make it. But yeah, everything else here should be ready in under twenty minutes. So these are good options, especially if you're low on time but you still want to eat fresh, like whole foods, yeah, um, clean foods with minimal processing. Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah. The ribs will take a couple hours as well. Yeah, those are slow. But they're easy. It's only one ingredient. Yeah. This one will just, this is probably the most yeah, difficult the before, of yeah. all, the, all the options here. But this, the good thing with this is that it's almost five pounds of meat, 2.4 kilos. How many pounds is that? Like five pounds. Like five pounds of meat. Yeah. So this is like, I make this and we eat this for like days. <laughs> yeah. Until we get sick of it almost. Super good though. Um, Osobuco is like the shank part of the cow. So it's got some good collagen and tendon in there. Yeah. It just so takes a it long melts. time to break down. Yeah, it takes a long time to break down. It has to be slow cooked. So you can do this in the Dutch oven or just bake it slow in the oven. And then when it melts apart, it gets super tender. It's really, really good. And you get a big, big hunk of bone marrow in it too. Yeah. Oh yes. He's been eating up his <laughs> eggs. Yeah. Bone marrow eggs. <laughs> Can't throw that part out. That's amazing. Yeah, so as you, as you guys can see here, the diet primarily consists of meat. Yeah, like 80% meat. Yeah, for me, probably higher end, 80 yeah. to 90 to 100% meat, and then some small low carb items as well. So that's how we were able to basically stay on track for us, and it's been working out really well, and we enjoy all the foods that we're eating here, so it's, uh, it's an enjoyable way of eating for sure. Yeah. If you like this video today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you like this video, you're definitely going to enjoy one of our other Costco grocery haul videos, which I'll leave up top right here for you to check out. Let me know down in the comments below what your Costco staples are, and we will see you in the community as we get ready for the April challenge. Until next time.